got here. We've got a video today on how to remove and reinstall the headlamp unit on your Vito van, the W639 model. And also, I'm going to show you how to take the bulb cap out of the inside of the headlamp. Uh, that's the bulb cap from the fog light. Uh, and I wanted to take it out because I've replaced the bulbs with um, LED pre-projector bulbs and that cap was covering the projector lens so uh, I'll show you how to remove that so I hope you enjoy the video, thanks. Now the first thing to do is to remove the front grille so there's three screws along the top there uh, that I'll need to take out, they're a 25 Torx bit. Good idea to get yourself one of those, electric screwdriver make things nice and quick. So once those three screws are out, you just lift the grill straight out. Like that. There's, there's two little tags here that sit in slots at the bottom, so it's very easy to get out. Next thing to do is to remove this bolt here so that you can pull this back a bit to get to the 10 millimeter bolt under there Now there's four 10 millimeter bolts to take out to remove the headlamp. So that one there you can see quite easily. There's another one behind there which you can get to by pulling that back. And then the other two uh, sort of there and there which you get to from underneath. So we can take the top two out first. You also need to remove these two 10 millimeter bolts here on the fender. That one and that one. This whole thing's plastic, so once you take those two out, you can bend it back. Just to show you, here's the other one that you can't see from the front. So by pulling this back a bit, I can get my 10 millimeter socket onto there. So that's the second top one. Now we need to get underneath. I've already put the car up on ramps, just makes it a lot easier. And I've got my mat there to lie on. So I'm on the ground now and I'm going to take out the two retaining clips at the bottom here. So I'm going to take out that one there and that one there. Yeah, this isn't the standard clip here because my previous one broke. So this is called a Christmas tree clip and it just pushes in so you can see why it's called a Christmas tree. So now that those two are out, the thing is now is to the inside lining here is to pull it back. You can see how I've got it sort of pulled back and then what I do is I'll get an Oki strap onto there so I can hold it back so that I can get access. There you go. So I've got an Oki strap holding that back. So now we've got this void here at the front of the bumper that allows us to access the two bolts at the bottom of the head. Okay, so now I'm looking up in in behind the bumper underneath the headlight. So there's the bottom of the headlight there. And there's one bolt just there where, where my torch is shining. And what I've done is so you can see it, I've I've already loosened it off. So it's just there, it's a 10 millimeter bolt. So hopefully you can see that. And then the other one is yes. the other one there. Now I've already loosened that so you can see it. So that's that's the one sort of towards the centre of the car. So once I undo those two then I should be able to pull the headlight out because there's only four bolts holding it in. I should be able to get those with my hand with my fingers because they're already loosened. So they're both out. So with the connector, the terminal connector on the back of the light, it's easier to pull the light out first and then disconnect the 
terminal connector. It's just easy to get to because there's a release catch on it and it's hard to get to um, while it's still in place, while the headlight's in place. So I'll set the uh, video tripod up so you can watch me taking the headlight out. So everything's removed now, the four bolts are out and I've undone the fender and I've loosened the uh, uh, panel on to the inside of the headlights, it's this one here. So it should be able to come out, I should be able to pull it out and then disconnect the connector. We'll see, we'll see how we go with this because it's a bit fiddly. There you go, how's that? So there's the, there's the connector there. So to get this out, what you need to do is with a small screwdriver, you push that right down there to release the catch. And once the screwdriver's in place, I should be able to pull that off. There you go. So there's the complete headlamp assembly. The reason I want to take the headlights out is I want to remove that cap it sits over the fog light bulb because I've replaced it with Cree LED bulbs. So here I am in the man cave uh, with the headlight on the bench. So much easier to work on these things. When you've got it on the bench, so I'll just unclip that. So there's the cover off. There's the low beam, that's the high beam, and that's the fog light there. That's the one I want to work on, so I'll take that off. So there's my fancy Cree LED uh, projector bulb. So there's a projector lens in the front there, and that was being covered by the cap. So it's quite easy to get the cap out. I've I've already done it. All you have to do is this ring fitting here, uh, you just prise it off. Uh, it's held on by little tags there, so um, I found that you just, you can just lever it up, upwards. You can hear it clicking. Anyway, I'm not going to take it out completely because I've already had it out once, but you basically just lever that up. Um, once you lever it up, this thing just pulls out. And then you just push the ring back on again. And you can't get it wrong because it, it's, it's got little uh, tabs. And it's got some stops there so it, it can only go so far. So that was quite simple actually. So now I can put the, the bulb back in, so that goes that way. And then push the little spring mechanism back on to lock it into place. And then, and then put the connector back onto the globe. So that's it. That thing there, just for interest, is the level adjusting motor. That's a little stepper motor, I believe. Put this back on. Just gonna spray a bit of silicon spray. So oh, there's the, the uh, fancy Cree LED projector globe in the fog light and so now the projector lens isn't covered so it should, uh, should get the full benefit of the globe now. You can see it there. 
So now we're going to have a crack at putting it back in again. It's not at all. Just putting in the two top 10 millimeter bolts. Now and put in the two bottom ones before I tighten everything up. That's the, the two bottom ones done. There's another view of that um, Cree LED projector. So I've put all the screws back in and tightened them up, and all that's left is to put the grill on. Panel back on, on underneath, put the clips in. So that's it. Thanks for watching.